Okay, everyone, let's talk LMC truck. We are gonna make a video right now, which is me and you, and you, okay? Okay. All right, say hi, YouTube. Hi, YouTube. All right, today we are going to install the three-point seat belts that go for these seat tens here. This universal kit right here that go up to the hole that's up here. Now, a lot of people know that even if your truck didn't come with the shoulder belt, there are holes here. Now, this kit that I purchased from LMC doesn't come with instructions. So I'm gonna show you guys what I figured out and how to put these in depending on what application you have and I'll tell you guys what you need, what parts you need, what bolts and all that good stuff. So let's, uh, let's get right into that. Okay, so let's talk about what you get in the kit. But first you get the belt. This here is the belt. You get a bunch of hardware. You also get the buckle, but I've already installed the buckle in the truck. I'm gonna show you guys a couple of different things with this hardware that you may or may not need depending on your application. So this is pretty much everything you get in the kit. You got three flat washers, three bolts, and uh, one is shorter than the other, three lock washers, a collar, and three nuts. In this, there is a bolt with like a little spacer here and a lock washer. Now, if your truck does not have the plastic trim on the cab, you can use this bolt. Because the way this bolt is designed is that this will tighten up all the way until it hits the metal. And then it allows this part to swivel. However, if you have the plastic molding in your truck like I do, you can't use this bolt. You gotta use something else. And then you have a bracket. Notice there's a long side and a short side, and that's gonna be important as well. If you put this in wrong, it is not gonna fit right. So let me show you how to install this bad boy. Better than LMC could have done, because I look for LMC and they just go, oh, let's put this stuff in, and then it's in. But how? I'm gonna show you guys. The very first thing you wanna do is make sure you do not have the belt twisted. I cannot stand having a twisted belt. This is the single most important part of the video, okay? So here's the mount. It's gonna mount like this. So then we wanna make sure that this part is straight, okay? Now, here's the problem. This actually has to mount this way. And there's a twist. And I don't like that. So now would be the time to get the twist out. So we know it mounts like this, and this little twist is gonna bother the shit out of me. So the way we do that, we take the twist up to this part here and just run it through. Okay, so now we check. It's gonna mount in the cab here. Now this is mount sticking on the outside, correct? Now let's check our belt. Our belt is gonna have a twist. We want it like this. Now this is twisted. Now we gotta flip this around. There is no driver's side and passenger side on these. You gotta make it work. So we just do the same thing. It's gonna hang here, mount there. And now this is gonna go across. Now we don't have any twists. So now we know it's good to go. Now this is ready to go in. Okay, so the first thing I like to do is mount the top strap. So this way we know everything is gonna go straight. So since we flipped everything, made it to where the strap is straight, we're gonna mount the top part. And there's two ways to do it. And I'm gonna show you guys what I'm talking about. If you did not have this plastic piece here, you can just bolt this right onto the metal and everything would work fine because it would still swivel. But because I have this plastic piece, this bolt is too short. And if I do end up getting it tight, it's right against this and this part 
will not lock on this part and it will not swivel. So there's a supplied bolt that we can go and use. What we're gonna do is we're gonna put a washer and a spacer between it to bring it back out from the plastic. And the way you do that is with this big old huge washer and spacer or collar that they have. See here? Now, no expert, but I'm pretty sure that this big ass washer, it's gonna look like shit against this black. So I went ahead and painted one much better. So it's gonna go like this. We're gonna take the bolt and the flat washer, stick it in like that and set it aside. And then we're gonna take this big washer and the collar, hold it here and then feed it through. Grab our five eighths, tighten her down. Now that this bolt's tight, this is still gonna be able to swivel every which way. Okay, so now that we got this bracket, make sure that the long part up and out. Take your original bolt and the flat washer, put it through here, kinda have it at a 90 degree from the bolt, or from the bracket rather. Snug it, don't tighten it, just get it finger tight to the bottom so you can still move it a little bit if you need to. Next, pull the strap tight, unlatch. Now we're gonna mount this to here. We're gonna need a flat washer, a lock washer, and a nut. That's where the short bolt comes into play. Flat washer goes on the back. Then you're going to mount the belt, lock washer, on the outside and your nut. Now, once you get your fitment on where you want it, your angle this way, your angle this way, tighten everything down. So we are gonna go about right there. If you can't get your socket in there, pull the belt out. Now, just put the cover back. It is in, my friend. I know this is probably not one of my best videos, guys, but um, you know, somebody might buy this and have the same problem that I had and thought that it went in uh, like this and tucked behind the door. So you put the L bracket in facing in, but then your seat won't come back the way, as far as it does. And then also there's the twist of the thing just kind of irritates me so now see there's a twist here but when you go over your shoulder that twist goes flat on your lap and flat across your shoulder which is the way the seat belt should have been in the first place all right guys so that wraps it up for this video i'm gonna finalize everything and make sure everything's good and uh i'll catch you guys at the next meet slash next c10 video peace guys robert Listics out